Uh, I'm kind of hesitant to do this because 4chan is the one major online grouping that didn't slag me to pieces when the costume debuted. If I'm wrong, please don't correct me. <laughs> uh, but I also spent an immense amount of time cleaning up 4chan in-joke vandalism from the Freakazoid entry on Wikipedia. <laughs> and, so, you, you know... <laughs> So, so, since, so since this panel is on leadership, um, how do you feel about being the leader of such a, let's say, effective group of people? Uh, well, the interesting thing about 4chaners is, yeah, they kind of spare no one. I mean, the 4chan wiki article gets vandalized all the time, the discussion page, the talk, I mean, everything. Um, you know, again, it, it's just there's, you know, the community is a collective and, and they, they can do what they want. Uh, there's only so much you can do. You know, I can try to direct certain things, but at the end of the day, you know, it's free will. They can do whatever they'd like. And they kind of have developed their own little niche communities. And again, they kind of go off and do what they want. Um, I don't think me telling people to stop messing around with mm -hmm. Wikipedia would do anything, especially because it's not just 4 who mess with Wikipedia. Everybody messes with Wikipedia. That's why they have like 10,000 sysadmin, you know, I, I mean, that's what they need so much. And, and Jay, I'm sure you realize that by bringing this up, you have just made your job. It's mostly to the two web comic authors, but maybe Moot also. Uh, I'm sure in your position as sort of creators of content that people tend to really like, uh, uh, you get all sorts of bizarre requests, so I was wondering what some of the most bizarre requests you've gotten are. That's a good question. I mean, I've, I've signed bizarre body parts. Yeah. But I, I just, today, for the first time, I signed a friendship. Like, it, it was these, these, these two kids holding hands who were like, can you sign our friendship? Yeah, them, right here? Is that you? Is that you? Aww. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that, well, that, and that was, that was sweet. Um, speaking, speaking of something, do you remember, um, I had one person, it was a picture of two monkeys having sex that they wanted me to sign. <laughs> that was at the meetup. I think that was the, weird, the weirdest point. 4chan hasn't gotten, obviously, I don't create content, so I don't get requests for that, but I've definitely gotten some requests for some very disturbing, deviant, pornographic boards be added. That's mostly what I get. This is distur disturbing and deviant. Thank you for fortune. resisting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we I think we've got enough porn on 4chan already. I can't believe that nobody here has a question. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, there, there appear to be no more questions. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> Emacs or VI? VI. Touchy. How, how have you dealt with the authorities, if you've dealt with the authorities? What, what kind of interactions have you had with the real world? Um, you mean like played not much with the real world, but <laughs> with authorities. Um, <laughs> it's something I try not to comment on very often, but I, I will tell you this. I mean, in our frequently asked questions, it does say that if you post something illegal, you know, Party Van might show up, and Party Van has shown up and taken people away. Uh, a good example is Jake Brom, who decided to post a bomb threat not only to 4chan, but like 50 other websites, and it is very likely that he is going to jail now. So if you do like to post uh, rule-breaking or illegal things to 4chan, I would highly discourage it unless you want to end up in federal prison. Uh, depending on if the you know, authorities pick up on it, but it's, it's, it's every now and then people will break the rules and do that. It's, it's not as frequent as it once was, I would say. Don't mess with football. That's right, don't mess with football. I had, uh, I hosted a web... Mood, we love you. Okay, so a uh, serious question here. Um, when will you be stepping down as the head of 4chan and be giving it over to Paul Fetch? You will, Paul Fetch, for those who don't know, is the leader of Anonymous, and um, you know, when, when he, maybe like if he pulls a Rupert Murdoch and offers me $580 million, I'd consider it, but otherwise he can uh, fuck off, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
I need more content here, folks. <laughs> Has to be original. You know, that was the one thing I've gotten almost more angry mail about than anything else is I, I've seen, because, and I saw this after I did my map that 4chan had done, uh, there have been a couple maps floating around on 4chan, like a map of the internet, that showed 4chan is taking up, you know, like two thirds of it. And, and, and I made 4chan a tiny island in the corner of like the, the subcultures meme current. And I got so much angry mail about this. People. <laughs> who were just convinced that 4chan had more people on it than the rest of the internet. I mean, what can I say? It's true. <laughs> well, but do, do they count as full people? No. <laughs> Hello. Okay, about 4chan and the B-tards, um, would you like to take this opportunity to apologize to everybody? <laughs> Me apologize? Um, yeah, I've actually, actually definitely thought about this a few times, like, just randomly thought, damn it, you know, I, I started 4chan, which started this whole terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I, I don't think there's anything to apologize for, to be quite honest. I mean, it's just, it's the way it is. Um, I don't, I'm not every single b-tard condensed into one person. I mean, it, you'd have to get them to apologize for what they've done, and they won't, so. <laughs> Can I, can I ask the question again? Is there anything you want to take responsibility for? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, related, uh, Ryan, you kind of already answered this question. You're responsible? <laughs> I know we work on the internet and a lot of older people don't take that seriously as a career choice. Um, has it affected your relationship with your parents or your family? Well, 4chan isn't exactly like dinner table conversation. <laughs> um, I don't shout memes at my parents at, at the dinner table. I can say that, yes, they do know about it. It took them like four years to, to figure it out, and I never told them, and I, I don't know how they did, but they did. And it's almost like, I feel as if it's like when parents are afraid to talk to their children about sex. You know, it's a very awkward subject. So I know that they know, is, literally. but they, they don't want to delve into the intricacies of my website, and so it's just we're at this kind of uh, stalemate. Yeah, it, it was it was sort of for me my controversial. Oh, actually, there's there's a good one. Um, early on, when I hadn't really decided what the comic was going to be yet, or you know, it was still it was still getting fleshed out. Uh, um, I was thinking a lot of like, oh crap, there are a lot of people reading this. You know, do, how much do I censor myself? How how uh, how edgy do I want to get? My parents are reading this. You know, all that. And so I did a comic early on about the. Uh, it was the mathematics of cunnilingus. And my idea with that was that I would have that comic and that would sort of like set the, set the boundaries out far enough that now I could work freely inside there. <laughs> and, but I was expecting that to cause, you know, to, to get a lot of uh, upset feedback, a lot of, you know, and, and just generally be, be offensive. And, and the comic right after that was when I was sort of already in the midst of writing at the time about, about not censoring yourself. And that, both of those, that, that later comic about not censoring yourself and about um, you know, creativity is, is a good one and I've, I like that one, but it turned out in that particular case not to be necessary at all because I got nothing negative when that comic came out. I got a lot of, a, a lot of nice letters and... Um, Thanks for the tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and a couple people proposing uh, additional research. Um, <laughs> I've actually been really surprised. The one thing I've really been surprised about is um, more recently is you know anonymous in Scientology the, the fact that that has not created a lot of backlash because a few months ago or you know half a year ago Fox News in LA did a piece on 4chan where they called us an internet hate machine <laughs> and um, there were exploding yellow vans and they essentially um, compared anonymous and, and you know image boards to internet terrorists and uh, with the whole you know the Scientology thing has blown up uh, the media has really not it seems that people might not care for Anonymous, but people seem to care even less for Scientology, so that hasn't <laughs> created much of a backlash at all, which is surprising to me. Well, 
And, and, and of course, the, the other reason that it wouldn't come back to you is I think that Anonymous is e-bombs world, isn't it? Yeah, and, and Gaia Online and a whole bunch of other websites. I've never actually uh, gotten very many controversial comics. I've always been surprised by what has been controversial. I was wondering when you started 4chan because I heard you were like 12 years old when you started it. Well, actually, I, I age in reverse, so I get younger <laughs> as the years go on. So I was 14 when I started 4chan, and now I'm something like negative <laughs> nine. Um, but it actually started in 2003, October 1st, to be exact. Um, so this is something to put out there for like kind of general consideration, but um, also maybe a little more specifically to, uh, towards Ryan because I know that you've, uh, it seems from some of your comics that you are kind of into